All right, so I'm gonna show you something today that can change up your mixes dramatically. You may not notice that at first, but it does make a difference. But getting also a lot of questions on this, I figured, no, let's put together a video. The question is, how do I convert my stereo tracks to a mono track in Logic? And that's fairly easy, and I'm gonna show you both ways, one on an audio track and one on a software instrument track. So over on our audio track, it's a little bit more easy. Here's our 808. It's a little bit of a wider 808, has some stereo information. But let's say in the mix, I wanna keep this just mono down the middle. Here's how you do that. So first of all, here's what the 808 sounds like with its side information. Right, it's a wider 808. But if I wanna convert this track to mono, all you gotta do is go right here to your channel mode, these two circles here. If I select that and you just see one circle, you effectively change that track to a mono one. So if you're listening on headphones, you're gonna notice that 808 is just mono and there's no side information at all. Right? So that can definitely help out in your mixes. You don't, I mean, generally everyone likes stuff to sound wide, but you don't want everything in your mix to sound wide because otherwise nothing sounds wide. You wanna have certain elements and just keep that sort of distance between instruments nice and full and that's how you get a full mix. All right, so over here is the software instrument side of things, the same 808. Right, so how do I convert this to a mono track? Well, it's very easy, you just gotta pull in a stock plugin. You're gonna to wanna to pull it down as the last plugin in your chain. You're gonna to go to Utility, Gain. And all you gotta do is switch on this right here, Mono. So if I turn that on, it's gonna make this track Mono. It will sum it to Mono. Just make sure that this plugin, this Gain plugin, is after all of your other plugins so that it combines and sums all of that stuff to Mono. Right? So if I undo that, it's a wider 808. If I do that, it's a mono 808, and then we can go ahead and track this out or bounce in place, and it'll be a mono audio file. So that's how you get your tracks to go from stereo to mono. Definitely start to apply this technique in your mixes. Not everything needs to be wide. And once you start to sort of pick and choose what's coming down the middle, what's coming out the sides, your mixes are going to sound a whole lot fuller, and you'll have sort of that distinctiveness between space in your mix.